What's going on everybody, Patriot Stacker here. So I went to a coin shop, I purchased a huge bag of wheat scents, and when I opened it up, I couldn't believe what I found. Let's take a look at all the hidden treasure that was in this giant bag of wheat scents. I purchased this huge bank bag that is said to contain over 5,000 wheat scents. So I bought this huge thing, it weighs a ton, it's insane. So I didn't start filming right away, but I figured I had to start filming at least a little bit as I'm going through. I started just taking out handfuls and sorting through. So that's all the wheat scents so far. I mean, this thing is still full. There is so much. These are like the ones I'm sorting through. Over here are all really nice condition and also like amazing toner, wheat scents. Look at all these steel scents. I mean, they're all in rough shape. They're all heavily circulated, but I've never seen this many steel scents just in one place at one time. I'm going through and I don't even know what else is still in here. I found flips in here. I had no idea. They didn't tell me what was in here. I thought I was buying a bag of 5,000 wheat scents. We got a 1950 BU. Beautiful wheat scent. There was a random Barber Dime, a 1911 Barber Dime out of Denver. Can you believe that? There's silver. There was silver in the bag. This, let's see if I can get a, uh, a good picture here, but that's a 1909 VDB. Uh, there's a 1956 uncirculated wheat set. There's another 1909 VDB. Three. Three 1909 VDBs. A 24S in nice shape. A 1924S. A 1914S. A uh, 1916S. A 1953 proof. What? Are you kidding me? A brilliant uncirculated steel scent. That is epic. A 1917S. And can you believe it? A 1957 Flying Eagle. I just pulled out all of this. All of these flips. What the heck? And then look inside the bag. Can you see in there? There's like 20 or more flips still in the bag. This is insane. What the heck? A 1917 scent. What is this? Another 1909? A really good looking 1909? What is happening here? An error coin? I think I saw more silver. There's Indian heads. There's like key date wheat scents. Another 1909. A 1917 Denver. What is going on? This is a 1909 with luster. This is like insane. An uncirculated 55D. An uncirculated 57D. I saw more silver here too. So look, look. A 1906 Barber Dime. Holy smokes. More Indian heads. A really nice 1909. VDB. Look at all the flips. All these flips here, they're all better date, San Francisco mint marks, Indian heads, silver, flying eagles. We found another, a second flying eagle. What is this? A 1958. I think that's large letters, possibly. I'm bad at identifying that. Look what we found. A 1909 San Francisco. It's not the VDB. Let's look in this bag. Let's see if I can open it up and kind of show you inside. 
hold on. There, there is so much left. There is more coins in here than I've ever seen. I found a 1947 that was like silver coated or something. I don't even know. I thought it was a steel set. I'm like, oh wow, that one's really shiny. But it's a 1947. Oh, just another 1909 VDB. Oh, another 1909 VDB. What do you know? A 1957 uncirculated. A 1918S. Another uncirculated. 1953 San Francisco. What the heck is going on? An 1891 Indian. Oh, just another 1909. non-VDB. Uncirculated, uncirculated, uncirculated. A 22D. Another 22D. An 1874 Indian. Oh look, another good looking steel scent. Another 22. An uncirculated 1939. Guys, we hit the jackpot here. A 29S? Yeah, a 29S. So that's a 1947 uh, Roosevelt dime, right? Silver dime. Look at the reverse. What the heck is that? That's one coin. It's not stuck together. I have no idea what is going on. Look at the side. See if I can get that to focus. That's a wheat scent and a silver dime together. Is this a trick coin? Is this fake? Did somebody make this? Or is this real? It's very, very thin. It's super thin. Like thinner than a regular dime. Or a penny. What the heck is that? Look at all this. Look at all these steel scents mixed in. There's Indian heads. There's like, I'm pulling out BU weed scents. Look at this. Look at this one. This was just sitting there, hanging out. 1951 Denver. I'm pulling out crazy stuff. All these Indian head scents. It's been like probably about four hours now. I'm still sorting through this here, but we have 1930s, 1940s, 1950s. We have a big old bag of steel scents, a whole bunch of steel scents. We got a pretty big bag of like better condition. Some are uncirculated, just really nice looking wheat scents there. We also got three full rolls of 1920s and this pile. Three full rolls of teens wheat scents and this pile. So lots in the teens, lots in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. But we still have this huge thing to go through still. I think I'm done for the day, but I'll be back with a wrap up once I get everything sorted. And uh, we have all these in flips. Pretty awesome. This was a great purchase, lots of fun. So much fun going through all these, but man, my eyes are tired. So I'll be back tomorrow for me, but it'll probably just be a few seconds for you guys. Lots of really cool stuff, really excited. Oh, and we got almost an entire roll of Indian head pennies. So that was pretty amazing. Lots of really good stuff in this giant bag of coins. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. All right, everybody, we are back. So I actually stayed up for another, I think, two or three more hours last night and finished sorting everything. I can't believe I did it. I was determined I had to do it. 
we have seven full rolls of wheat scents from the teens. We have all this from the 20s, 30s, 40s, and 50s. The big bag of better condition wheats, the real big bag of steel scents, and all of these flips were in that bag. Four Barber Dimes, that was awesome. Two Flying Eagles, a whole stack of 1909 VDBs, a whole stack of 1909 without VDB. The best coin in the stack was a 1909S. Couldn't believe that we got one of those. These are two almost unk 1909 VDBs. We got key dates, a 1931S, that's like a $60 coin, a 14S, couple 422Ds, so some pretty good dates there. Bunch of other early uh, mint mark uh, wheat scents as well, better dates, a whole stack of uncirculated, another small stack of uncirculated coins, uh, more uncirculated steel scents, a proof weedy. We also got four better date or semi key date uh, Indian heads. 66, a 68, a 74, 73. I mean, this coin here in G4 is worth 50 bucks. So not too bad. And this uh, 1868, it's a little toasty, but in G4, that's a $40 coin. So now I have everything sorted by date. I probably should have started picking out some of the better dates as I was going, but I just wanted to get them all sorted. Now it's time to go through all the teens and pull out all the semi-key, key dates, any better dates, and do that to basically the teens and the 20s and the 30s. There's not a whole lot in the 40s and 50s, thank God, because I don't want to go through all that. Um, I mean, there's a lot of 1955s and, you know, other uh, dates that I could look for double dies and other varieties and errors. I'm not sure I'm going to do that anytime soon. So I'm probably just going to go through these here and try to find any key dates or semi-key dates or better dates in general. We're also going to fill my Lincoln Scent folder with all the better condition coins as well as my Indian Head and Flying Eagle folder. So, what a score. I can't believe we got so much cool stuff out of this bag. Um, it's It's been a lot of fun. So, I am going to offer a lot of this stuff up for sale, so stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it. What a awesome score.